So, ChatGPT just added a new feature that completely changes everything. I've been following all of the OpenAI announcements the last two years, but this might be my favorite one yet. Without wasting any more time, let's dive right into what is new with ChatGPT and how you can use it in your everyday workflow. So first of all, we are inside of ChatGPT and we come up to our model and you will see a new model here. It is called ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. We want to click on this and what we want to do is we want to write out a prompt here and then go from there. So let's just say, write me a script for the new OpenAI news, you can see this user interface is completely different than what we are used to. This is really cool. We have this little tab here where we're able to come and play with this widget. So you could see there are a few things. We could suggest edits, they, we could adjust the length, the reading level, add final polish, add emojis. These are just a few of the things, but this is something where before we would just have to come in here and say, turn this into a fifth grade reading level. This is really cool. Let's come and test this out. All right, let's make it middle school reading level to make this extremely easy and you can see it is now going over and editing this it is a really cool user interface thing there and it even shows what it edited. So I've rewritten the text to make it easier for middle schoolers. All right, here's something that's actually amazing is ChatGPT even made its own suggestions on what we can do. So consider simplifying the opening statement to make it more direct and engaging for viewers with short attention spans. I didn't even have to write anything. It just automatically gave me the suggestion. So let's go ahead and apply that now. And it already wrote this for me. That is amazing. If we want to, we could then cancel that out as well. So another thing we could do is we could adjust the reading level and the user interface of this is amazing. Let's go ahead and make this as short as possible. There we go. Now we have a very simple OpenAI news script here that is not as long as the other one. That is really cool. Let's go ahead and play with this. We could then ask ChatGPT. We could say, can you make this sound cooler? And then it will just edit this line of our script. So instead of having to go through and tell ChatGPT to make a change to the entire thing and then it makes a change for the whole entire prompt, we could go ahead and edit individually. This is going to make our workflows extremely easy. This is great. So let's come over here and say, so do you have any suggestions to make this better? And then it is now commenting over here and giving us suggestions for everything that it suggests that we can make this better with. So replace placeholder text with a specific detail about the announcement to make the information concrete and engaging. This is great. Let's go move on to some more use cases for this new ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. This is actually amazing at helping you write code. So as somebody that has no technical coding experience, this is me, this is going to be a complete game changer. If you saw my previous video about Replit Agent, I built a full software in 10 minutes with an application called Replit Agent, codes it for me, but this is gonna take it to the next level. Let me come in here and write a coding question. So, all right, so write me an app that allows me to play chess. As you can see, it takes us into the Canvas user interface here. It is writing out this code, tells me how to actually run the application. And then one amazing thing I wanna come here is we could use code review. So it immediately goes over and reviews the code and spits out these different changes that we can add and we could just easily click apply, easily makes these edits. As you can see, it goes through. All right, so now I moved, removed all of these suggestions. So hopefully this code will run seamlessly now because the AI did the checking for us. Add comments, but one thing I want to show you is we could actually come and change our coding language with one slide of a button here. So you could see we have keep current, or we could change this to JavaScript. We could change this to TypeScript, PHP, Python. Let's go ahead and just keep this. Actually, let's go ahead and move this to Python and see what it looks like. You can see it is literally recoding this application in Python just by clicking this widget. All right, so I took a massive document here, which is a Mr. Beast guide on how to make the best YouTube content. I asked ChatGPT to create a blog based on this document. So let's give it this and see kind of what it comes up with. So as you can see here, it is summarizing this. That is great, but it is still a bit long. Let's make the length a bit shorter. Comes in and edits this line by line. Amazing, and then what we wanna do is actually let's have it suggest edits to make in order to have the AI help us make the best answer. So consider elaborating on what specifically makes a video irresistible to viewers, such as storytelling, pacing, and emotional connections. Let's go ahead and apply this and see what it spits out. All right, so it added this right here. So make the best YouTube video possible. All right, let's actually use this one right here. Another suggestion. I love these suggestions. So you might want to briefly describe a specific wow factor moment from a Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast video to help readers understand what makes content memorable. Because right here it says, making a viral video requires more than metrics. It needs a wow factor. So let's have it elaborate on that. See what it says. 
For example, he lifted a house with a crane, creating a moment that no other creator could easily replicate. This kind of spe spectacle leaves a lasting impression on viewers. Standing out with surprises is essential. And then if we want to just make this bold, we could add the text here. We can then you know, change, change the size of the text. Makes it really easy to edit inside of here. It's almost like Notion inside of ChatGPT. I absolutely love the way this looks. Um, this is going to completely change the game. I absolutely love this and I'm so excited to test this out since I use ChatGPT every single day and I hope you are too. So make sure you're subscribed, like this video, leave a comment on what you think. See you guys next video.